Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's morning ramble. My morning, might be your afternoon or evening. And this is just coming off the tails. I just filmed a video for my Money Made Fun group, which is a sort of a subgroup within the Creating the Impossible program. And uh, this is coming out on uh, January 29th, and the course closes January 31st. So if you would still like to join us, you can go to creatingtheimpossible.net, or uh, I think you can probably find it at michaelneal.org forward slash impossible. Uh, and that'll tell you more and give you a chance to join. But I, I thought this was worth sharing more widely. One of the things I was, I, I, I was talking about in this video, and that, you know, going to go into more depth with in the program are, are what I, I, I call the four masteries of money. And, and another way of saying that is, as, as I've seen it, there are four skills that are really helpful around money. And uh, the, the thing about skills is distinct from uh, innate capacities, is skills get developed by developing them, by time and attention by putting in the hours. And uh, the number one skill that a lot of people who struggle with money seem to have put in the time and attention and put in the hours on is worrying about it. Like, they're brilliant at it. They can do it in their sleep. In fact, they can do it instead of sleeping. Um, the, the, <laughs> the amount of time and attention, or, or another one is, is, is positive fantasies about it. Like, oh my God, wouldn't it be amazing? Wouldn't it be, and like, they've really developed the pipe dreaming muscle, which is, and can be helpful, certainly more helpful than the, the worry muscle. But neither of those are actually the skills that help you have more money, use it more wisely, and uh, have it be a, a blessing instead of a burden in your world. And so the skills, the four masteries, the first one is making money. Now, some people are really skilled at that. Some people ha feel, have done, have accumulated a lot, have made a lot, but, um, you know, think that it's all been luck. And so for you, as I go through these, just kind of give yourself a marks out of 10, where 10 is, I am amazing at this. And one is, I don't even know how to start. And so that first mastery, making money. The second mastery, the second skill, using it. Like, the way you use your money, does it help? <laughs> does it work? Does it make your life better? Does it make the lives of the other uh, people in your life better? Does it make the planet better? How skilled are you at using money? How intentional are you with using money? That is a skill. That is something you can learn and get better at it. Marks out of 10 for yourself. The third one is managing it. Like actually kind of keeping track of it and knowing where it is and when it needs to move around from one place to another. Like that is a skill that some people are very skilled at. And you may think you're skilled because I had to get skilled at that, but you're either more or less skilled at it. So again, marks one out of 10. And then finally accumulating it. Because while one of the, the things we talked about earlier in the Money Made Fun program is how your storage is not your supply, the amount of money you've got accumulated isn't really the, the, where, where money's gonna come from from now on unless you've accumulated an extraordinary amount. Um, and we get kind of confused about that, but yet it's helpful to have an accumulation. It's useful to have storage um, when it comes to money. And it's a skill, it's a skill. It's something that you can learn and get better at. So the reason I'm asking you to give yourself marks out of one out of 10 is, is not, um, and I, I will, I'll, I'll say please share, you don't have to share your scores, but like, you know, you can share your overall money score or you can kind of go, my God, I'm so much better at this than this, or my God, I'm terrible at all of it, or my God, I'm better at this than I thought. But it's just to give you a starting point. And what I kind of hope above all that you take from, from this ramble is the possibility that, that money is not something that, however good or bad you think you are, is 
a, a fixed point. There are a set of skills that you can learn and if you care enough, master, that will allow you to make, use, manage, and accumulate money in a way that isn't burdensome, stressful, scary, or high pressure. Have fun, learn heaps. Please share any, any insights in the uh, comment section below, and I will talk with you soon.